Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the FC25 player career. Today we'll be upgrading our character again as we're going to push through into the next month. The summer transfer window is underway in the save as it is right now and elsewhere in Europe. So I, we, as of yet, have not found anyone join the club in this window. But it is, as you can see on the left-hand side there, transfer window is open. So we have Toronto FC followed by Chicago Fire and then... We push all the way through August. We wait a month, I think, more than a month, to uh, the game against FC Cincinnati. Then in the next episode, we'll have Chicago Fire again. Orlando City in the uh, US Open Cup semi-final. We'll then be able to improve our guy again. So it's going to be vital, actually, that we get good results and good performances in the month of August. Otherwise, we might end up taking points off our guy if we have a terrible time. We haven't had a terrible time thus far in our career where uh, all of our performances have been in the yellow or above with regards to the, uh, the deciding factors for what we do with our skill points, the average rating. We haven't had anything that's been uh, under, a, under a, a six, thankfully. But that's not to say that we won't at any point, especially when we find ourselves in potentially more difficult situations against more difficult opposition. But we have Toronto at home, Chicago Fire at home and Cincinnati at home after having three straight away games in the last episode. A goal and an assist last time out. We'll hope to uh, do something similar today as well if we can. Toronto FC to begin us and then as we push further forward, we'll hopefully have some more positive results. And fingers crossed, get ourselves top of the Eastern Conference. The played games scenario is now level. Previously, we were two or three games more than everybody else, or the majority of everybody else. Some of actually, as you can see there with Toronto, played more than us now. Although New England Revolution have a game in hand, but they're nowhere near us. Still, fifth is possible for us to drop to in just one match day. But we're aiming to go up, not down, if possible. So let's not waste any further time. Let's crack on and play the first game today against Toronto FC. And fingers crossed, get a positive result. Saying thank you to those of you on the board behind me today for your continued support in the comments section. Our three today are, uh, when it loads on the app in front of me, rather than having to wait for it to scroll, uh, Rough Life, Alf Wells and Cultured Left Foot. Thank you very much for all of your support in the comment section and on stream. Of course, we'll have some press conference questions to bring to you later in the episode as well. But for now, we're going to concentrate on kicking the round thing. Four interceptions or win the game. I'll go for the boosted win the game. What did it... It was an 8.5 with match rating, wasn't it? Yeah, that's going to be less straightforward to come by. Toronto FC are a decent team. In fact, I should be able to show you this team. I'd be curious to see who's in their team because they have, in the past, had a couple of standout players, haven't they? Very narrow defence there, as you can see. Those three centre-backs are so close to one another. That's exploitable, to say the least. Luca Gavran, Kevin Long, Sigurd Rostod, or Rosted, sorry, Wingo... Federico Bernadeschi is the first player that stands out as one of the better. Then Jonathan Osorio, Matty Longstaff. Only 68 racing, Matty Longstaff. Um, obviously, Lorenzo Insigne is one that stands out as well. So, some former Premier League or top European division players in the team. But, we've got some of those of our own, haven't we? And, uh, <laughs> some of them quite good. Like a certain Mr. Lionel on the other side. Who I might as well give the ball to now. There you go, Leo. All the way out on the touchline. How's he touch? Well, as good as we would expect. Messi. I'm in a decent spot here. It's a lovely ball over the top. We get there ahead of the defender. I'm into the box. I just need to find a pass. Which I can't do. We could have had a 1-0 lead. We don't. Etienne Jr. down the wing for them. Hoping that Messi and Robert Taylor can really whew, exploit the wing areas with their narrow defence. Thus far, not had the opportunity to do such a thing. That's going to come my way. Try and get to that. We'll get it to Farias. And, well, here's a counter-attack opportunity. If ever we saw one, it's Messi, actually, that we've set through. We're trying to get up to him, but Leo's going to go all the way, shoot with his right foot, and saved by the keeper. Messi's not as fast as he used to be, evidently. Delivery will come in for him, from him here for the corner. And underneath that is Etienne Junior. We could have had an assist for Leo Messi there, but unfortunately not able to do so. Can I have an assist here instead? Find Robert Taylor, who finds Freire, who's a centre-back, actually. Farias. Freire again. To me, quickly looking for Farias. I've balls the pass up, and we won't have an assist at the beginning of this game. Still nil-nil. 
And hopefully gaps will open up. They have done. Am I going to get to that? I'm not. Well, they very nearly gave it straight back to me. They did give it to Facundo Farias. Here's Leo Messi now in the box. He's got Farias still with him. Could go for goal. He's going to use Facundo or call for the cross. Oh, he's drilled it across the floor. Not, not suggested. Oh, it's going in! That was flying top bins. Keeper makes a very, very good save. I didn't expect to be able to get a clean shot away there. I did. And, well, it was one of the most accurate ones we've had in our career. Unfortunately, there's a man with gloves that's able to keep it out with his hands, which he did. Throw down the line to Messi. Messi to Farias. I'm going to run off him. I'm going to go for a goal outside the box again and wish that I hadn't. Yep, look for better options is exactly what I will do next time. Thank you very much. My guys, long shots. Very much still not good enough, as you can tell. Which is weird, because the last one I had from two yards further forward in the box was pinpoint accurate. That one from two yards outside the box, about 15 yards wide. Let's go down the line. Here's Etienne Jr. Back to Alonso Coelho. And Awusu again. Bernadeschi, good block. First danger we've really had at the back in the game so far. And, well, it, it didn't really last that long, did it? Redondo looking to get forward here from the left central midfield spot. Just offering Sergio Busquets a bit of an outlet there. Farias has come short, which is good. I was about to say I trust him in possession and then was going to change my mind, but actually he was pretty good with it there. Here's Roger... Uh, he wanted to say Roger Taylor. He's not a drummer in Queen, Ches. He's a midfielder. Oh. <laughs> For into Miami. I do apologise. Thank you for correcting me and or let me know who Roger Taylor was in the comment section of a recent episode. I just, my brain just kept going, Roger Taylor, not Robert Taylor. And I couldn't remember who the hell Roger Taylor was until you guys in comments went, Ches. Queen drummer, mate. Yep. Cheers. Robert Taylor put in a good cross there. Messi missed the header. Oh, that's poor. Given away by them. Picked off nicely by Farias. We haven't really been able to expose their defensive line in the way that I hoped we would be able to in this game so far. Spread to Messi there. And he tries to find it inside. But so far, they're three back. It's proving to be one of the most solid defensive lines we've played against all season. I certainly didn't anticipate that as we came into the game. They've not really offered anything going forward, Toronto. But that's not really their three-back defences issue is it if anything you'd have thought they'd have been better going forward because they had more men up for offensive attacks but that Christmas tree formation really isn't working very well for them at all Messi finds me here I've got Farias with me trying to hold off everybody that's around me but my close control isn't quite good enough to get away from everybody that was surrounding me there and still we're not playing in a very good performance we're only on a 6.6 .6 here it's not into the red as we mentioned at the beginning of the episode so I'm still at least Getting some sort of positive performance, but it's not going to help my overall average for the month. If I get a dud performance, if anything, actually, it just said risk of being subbed out there. So bad a game am I having, or are we having as a team, as I win that back, that I might even get taken off the pitch. I can't recall that happening more than once before, I don't think. Give that to Farias. He could go to Messi. Or to me. I'll go to Messi. Messi can come back to me here and hold it for Farias. And maybe we can get a goal. The answer is no, we can't because he's missed the target. But I think that action, just that one passage of play, has improved my overall rating, match rating wise, to uh, a height that should hopefully allow me to see out the final 90, or the full 90, the final 15. Luis Suarez on for Robert Taylor out wide. So Farias is still the man through the middle. No change in formation, so I'm still at right centre mid. Free kick for us here, eight minutes to go. Lovely header by Rojas. Messi to me. Oh, go on. Go on, please. He's missed the target again. Facundo Farias was a difficult finish. That from Rojas was closer in. And surely, with that amount of space, you very much expect him to put that on target at the least. We've had a few games recently where we've had to have some late goals to win them. It would have been late, but not as late as some if that went in. There's only five minutes left here. I'm finding myself pushing further and further forward to just try and force the issue. But Redondo's doing the same look. That's my centre mid partner there, the number 55, getting all the way forward. That, I think hit someone's hand. It might have been Jordi Alba's. It was, unfortunately, as we were looking to build again. We might have to settle for a point here, but 
Philadelphia Union at the top of the table are not going to allow us any sort of respite. You imagine that they will win on match day 24. Frustrating to lose, sorry, to not win a home game. I haven't jinxed myself in the final few seconds there. Frustrating to not win a, uh, a home game. And I think I might be out of the starting lineup with this, but we should be able to train and get ourselves back in it between now and the game against Chicago Fire. It's going to be very important. We might lose it still. Oh, Andrew, thank you very much indeed for making that save. The most important thing is ensuring we're in the starting lineup still after the Chicago Fire game. Because, of course, there's a big gap between that game and the next one where I won't be able to train because you can only train on match day in game. So I need to make sure I'm in the starting 11, not in the subs. Because if I'm in the subs, then that manager thing will just decline all the way between games and I'll be screwed. 7.3, 93 minutes played. Not amazing. Philly, Philly. Philly lost to New England. That's huge. We have lost some manager favour, but crucially, we did get one of the objectives to get plus five there. So we're still in the starting lineup for the next game. And we've got a little bit of a buffer to, uh, to take us into that next level. Uh, not a good time for the boss. I mean, it's, oh, are we going to get this every match day now? It's, gonna, it's really going to annoy me, isn't it? It annoyed me last year. I shall try not to lose my mind every time it happens. So we should have closed the gap then on Philly Union to two points. We have indeed. Orlando now right behind us on 39, then Nashville on 38. And previously the side that led the way for ages, Chicago Fire, our next opponents, they're in fifth. If we can get a result though, next time out against them in two days time, we will be hopefully going top of the Eastern Conference. Dear Philadelphia Union, please lose your match day this second time around. Suarez back in the lineup. I'm a little bit tired, but fit enough. Get an assist. Make three interceptions in the opponent's half. So that's more of a kind of Gagan pressing style objective. We'll go for the assist. That we have to be confident that we can do. Although Chicago Fire are going to be a difficult side to play against, presumably. Although, judging by the fact that they were top and away away in first... And now they've fallen to fifth. Perhaps their form is not great. And their morale will be similar. As well as their sharpness, etc. In in-game speaking terms. Meaning, perhaps they might be a little bit vulnerable. And open to be beaten. Redondo back to me. Oh, a little bit too heavy with a touch. My guide seemed to not want to react to the fact the ball was right bloody next to him. And there for the taking. No chance in the opening five minutes. But... Very nearly broken through. There's Messi. Luis Suarez really, really, really needs to get a move on. Here he is, looking for the ball for Redondo. He'll go for goal! And it's saved well by the keeper. There is the first chance. Messi delivers here. Messi delivers well. Oh! Christov! What a header! I thought it might have maybe made it to me, but... I'll take a step back. That's a brilliant header. I'm totally too sure what the man on the line's doing, but to be honest, it was it was headed so hard and fast that maybe he didn't have the chance to react, or maybe he waited to see if his keeper was going to get there before actually then reacting. You see him flick his foot at the last. I don't care. We've scored. Sergei Kristov's first goal of the season, and into Miami have a 1 0 lead. Yeah. Little bit of danger. There's some space there for the man inside. Defence really needs to fix up with their marking. That's a very good delivery. They should have scored. Man at the back post has a free header. You would have expected him to work the goalkeeper, which is exactly what he did. At the very least, Messi looking to get away now. Suarez is here. I'm here too. I'm going to go. Call for the through ball. Lay that in front of Louis. Who doesn't get me the assist. But it's a good effort and it's well saved. Late in the half if they get one now, but hopefully that means they're not going to. Alba will get that forward quickly, and Taylor to Redondo. Out wide to Jordi Alba, building nicely this. A call for the cross. It's not going to come, but we'll still build well. Gordon Louis, please. Suarez! Oh! I'll tell you what, Brady can get in the bin. Another corner. Another potential assist for me. Unfortunately not gathered. Oh, another goal for the team. Also not gathered. Cleared off the line this time. They learnt their lesson from the one that went in. We don't replicate it. 1-0 up at half-time, though. Costa. 
Gasper's gone one way. I went the other. Messi. I call for it. Because I want to play Luis Suarez in. Over the top. Get there, Luis. God damn it. Why are you still super slow? Get quicker, pal. Change for us. Negri's come on at right back, I think. We've taken Vigant off. He was a little bit tired, actually. And he was still starting ahead of the usual right back, who would have been even more fatigued yet still. Louis, make me the run, mate. That's a run. It's not necessarily the run, but it's a decent one. I'm in. Good save again. Like I say, I just need the match rating, and because I'm on an eight, the goal would certainly send me above it. I don't necessarily need to look for the assist now. I just need a goal contribution of some some nature, and I'll get my uh, I'll get my match rating. I'm trying to bungle my way through there. It very nearly worked. I'm on an 8.5 now. There's still plenty of time left for that to uh, go up and more than likely go down. But at the minute, so far so good for staying in the starting lineup in between the uh, mid-summer break. Suarez so not making a great run. Redondo is, however. And we've slotted him in. I'm going to run off him here. Never mind. Go on, Chui. Go on, Chui. Suarez! Oh! Come on, mate! What are you heading that like that for? Volley that like the... Deadly pro you used to be. I really am concerned about losing my place in the starting lineup moving forward. Get that out there to Robert Taylor and get myself back in position so we don't lose anything for being in the wrong position. Short there to Gutierrez and Redondo backing away here. Redondo could go for goal! He has done. It's well saved. Messi's going to get to that, is he? No. Oh, the 8.5 is there again now, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually see it through here with two minutes to go. One minute added. Stoppage time is in effect now. It still says 8.5 in the top right. And you saw it happen. Literally, in the time it took the referee to take his hand from down by his side to his mouth, it dropped to an 8.3. So in the menus, it will probably give me an 8.4, which it does, which is a man of the match performance. But I believe I got none of my objectives as a result. And I might have just lost my place in the starting lineup. Philadelphia Union drew as we were victorious, meaning yes, we will be joint top of the table. But also, yes, with none of the objectives achieved, I've dropped to the subs bench. And now with a full month to the next game, 34 days... I'm going to have to work my way back into the starting lineup, unfortunately. That's a real pain. I do have the opportunity now to add some more attribute boosts because of uh, our growth. So let's find out what the average rating was. I also need to know what the first game was that last month so I can see uh, where we're going from. Let's have a quick cheeky look. You can see the spreadsheet still at the moment. It's Charlotte to Chicago Fire. It's just the four from the loss. So there, it's a 7.9, which is two. But add in one assist, I can add three accomplishment points. We're still second on the head-to-head -head with Philadelphia Union. So we need to make sure we are ahead of them on points. So I can add three. question is, where do I add them? I'd like to add some extra physicality if I can. Um, aggression needs to go up, but reactions would certainly help as well. There's still plenty to be done. Dribbling, I'd like some more agility. Ball control, actually 60 ball control up to 63 would help no end. And will that agility too. So that's two of my three added. Give yourself more dribbling. I'd rather more ball control. Attack positioning is not going to do anything other than help my overall rating really. That's another one for ball control. That will give me up to 66. So we are now 69 rated. Make your own jokes. As we head towards the game against FC Cincinnati then. We will, as you'll no doubt see as we progress through. My manager favour is going to do nothing but decline as we progress further through. We're going to have quite the task on our hands to get ourselves back in the starting lineup. It's not going to happen overnight. We've got a new agent message here. We can make offers to clubs regarding potential transfers and salary expectations. I will let you know when we have to finish drafts and send them to the clubs that are interested in you. Is there anyone else there now? It was five, wasn't it? It is still Burnley, Parma, Sporting, Genk and Venezia. At present, we can get a contract offer from 
two, sorry, three of the five. Very nearly there with Burnley. Very nearly there with Sporting. By the minute, as, well, Alfonso Davies moves to Manchester United. At the minute, we're concentrating on our own career at Inter Miami for now. As you might well imagine, I'm going to start training again to train myself back in the starting lineup for realism purposes. Uh, I don't care about the whole, oh, I earn your spot. At the minute, I should absolutely be in the starting lineup. I'm going to do everything I can to get myself there. But this occasion, I'm going to be off the bench at right centre mid, coming on at 1 0 up in the 83rd minute. I've not got long to try and change the game, but hopefully we can. Coming on for Redondo. Redondo actually at right centre mid, weirdly, when he's normally at left centre mid. 6.5, get an, an interception in the opponent's half and get a goal involvement. I mean, it's similar to the uh, expectations of the game that saw me not keep myself in the starting lineup. But the 6.5 is much more doable than the 8.5. Andrew will pump that, actually looking for Messi here, who can't keep it in. Right. Get yourself on the ball, Tez, as regularly as possible and make sure that you do the right thing every time you do because you've not got long to make an impact here. Gressel. I call for it. I call for it. I call for it again. Busquets comes to me. Suarez is there. Suarez found. Gressel again. We're loitering with intent here on the edge of the FC Cincinnati box. Give it to Leo. Offer some support yet still. Leo to Gressel. Gressel to Suarez. Suarez looking for me. It's a lovely ball. And if I could have finished it, we'd have been right back in the starting 11. Or very close to. Unfortunately, it's well saved by the keeper. It's a brilliant attempted assist by Suarez. I just had the pace to get there because we upped our acceleration and sprint speed last month by quite a bit. 70 acceleration, 74 sprint speed now, which is pretty decent for a cam, really. But unfortunately, I couldn't get the goal I needed to get the match rating. They might get the goal they need to equalise. Andrew makes a very good save. They don't. That was important. Can we get rid of this? Cincinnati deliver the ball. It's headed. It's wide. Give that to Leo. Messi who used to fall back. I call for the through ball. He's played me in. Still got Messi with me. Suarez is there. That's not Suarez though, is it? Chase? But here is Louis now. Going for goal and saved by the keeper. Fortunate. Jesus, that is a tash and a half, pal. Come on, put it on my head. He hasn't. Can we recover possession? No. Still no. I think I got the 6.5. We're at least going up in our manager favour with that, I believe. Did I get the 6.5? We'll find out in a minute. I did indeed. Up the cheese noise. Right. Well, considering that was a very short third game. We shall go and do another. And this next one is a biggie too. It's the semi-final of the cup against our interstate rivals, Orlando City. And I'm on the bench. This is terrible timing. It's nil-nil as I come on. But you can notice Martinez with a second yellow card in the 48th minute has sent us down to 10 men. I'm coming on at left centre mid here as a sub. So we're going to have to work very, very hard indeed to try and get ourselves the result here in the US Open Cup against 11 men with only 10 for ourselves. I've got a little bit more time to try and make an impact. They're coming on in the 78th minute here rather than the 82nd. Please, can we make it to the final? I'm desperate. Coming on for Diego Gomez. It's an offensive Orlando corner where thankfully they head wide. Praise be to the footballing gods. Right. Let's get ourselves a positive result, a positive performance, a positive match rating. And pop this team into a cup final in our first year at Inter Miami. And probably only year at Inter Miami, to be completely honest. The option to stay at the club will be on the vote. But one presumes that you guys would vote for me to go elsewhere. Bugger! Lewis Muriel makes it 1-0 Orlando. That extra defender would have come in handy, wouldn't it? Oh, no! Arias, Taylor, Taylor to Jordi Alba. Finds me. 
Farias is going to go. It's just a case of whether I can find him or not. He answers yes. He spun well. Back to Biscuits. I'm here. Got options out wide as well. Biscuits skews it to me. Get it round the corner. Here's Robert Taylor. Into me. Looking for Farias. Farias to me again. Oh, Tobbins! 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 Goal! 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 Yes! Back level! La Ramontada! Yes! Lovely little one-two with Farias. Great touch. That's where the extra ball control comes in handy. We've just upgraded our ball control and it is immediately paid dividends. Brilliant finish in the top right corner and into Miami a level. New position, left attacking midfield, you can see down there in the bottom left. So, a change in formation. I'd certainly much rather be at LAM than LCM. We get the advantage there from the handball. A free kick would have been lovely because Messi might have buried it. Messi nearly buried that. 88th minute here. The 10 men pushing for a winner. Forward, Suarez driven to me. No, nope, driven to Robert Taylor. He will then come to me. Try and pull the defender away to work some space. He's found me. Oh, no. Farias was in. If I could have just found that pass, I'm going to work hard to try and win it back. Put the pressure on. Put the pressure on. Oh, and I nearly got there too. We're about to find out whether it's going to go to extra time or straight to penalties because the final whistle is going to come. Now, I think. Ref, please. No, it's, oh, now I don't want it. Yep. End of second half. We did have one earlier in the season, didn't we? That went to pens. Did we? No, I think that might have been in the Bromley save that never was. Extra time or penalties? Resume match, it says. That says to me, extra time. Another 30. We just took Lionel Messi off. There are penalties afoot. And the manager has taken Lionel Messi off the pitch. I desperately hope that is not a decision we live to regret. Rojas. I call for a little dink. Hit a hand as he tried to scoop it. So now the set piece. Oh, I'm up. My heading's still not very good, though. 9.2, though, with a rating. We're flying. If only I could have done that in the game before <laughs> the big month break. I wouldn't have found myself as a substitute in the bleed in first place. Schlegel into a hater. I'm going to have to get involved. I don't know as so I'm quick enough to close him down now. A hater. Wow. That might be that. I don't know as I would have gotten close enough to him anyway but I certainly was slow to pick up on a closing him down but that finish deserves to win a game of football doesn't it Martin Ojeda oh, I keep thinking it's Brian Ojeda Martin Ojeda has given Orlando City a 113th minute lead oh, here in the US Open Cup semi-final extra time here's Afonso and Jordi Alba there's plenty of pink shirts forward here but it's the purples that have it and the advantage Sajeda again nice ball into Petrasso taking his time here we're in the 120th and unsurprisingly they're going to the corner Although we did try and cross it, actually, which is a bit more of a surprise. We've won that back. We've cleared it away, but we too little, too late. Oh, my head flicked around. No! It's US Open Cup semi-final exit for MLS side into Miami. We fought valiantly with 10 men. But in the end, it wasn't good enough. I got a goal. I did as much as I could. I think the game just crashed on me. The game has just crashed. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean I've got to play it again? We might get a second chance. Now, it would be my inclination 
to abide by what happened in the first iteration of this game. I don't like the idea of quote unquote save scumming reloading to try and win the game. Although I'm coming on at two on up and that's out of my hands. At right centre mid this time. I mean, I, I'm, I've given my, I've got the goal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not throwing away that goal. Um, I can try and influence it so that we lose, but it's going to kill my, kill my match rating, isn't it? I think we just have to take this. I think I have to lose that previous goal. So at least I don't, I am, there's more than a, it, it's more than just redoing the game and ensuring I go through or we go through. We still might go out. I tell you what, if we go through, then we'll take this result, but I'll lose my goal. If we go out, then we're still out, but I'll keep my goal from the previous game. How's that sound? I think that's probably the best way to go about it, or at least a way to go about it that allows still some sort of entertainment. I'll deliver across it, looking for the man at the back post, who we nearly found, but didn't quite. I think we might still absolutely luck out here and make it to the final of the US Open Cup. Oh, if Farias could have found me, if I can score a goal in this game as well, then I'll just use that goal instead of the last one. It's count. It's saved, auto-saved after I added my uh, attribute boosts. So I am still 69 rated. Oh, why are you playing that pass, mate? Gomez to Farias again. But why Farias is playing that pass in the first place is an absolute mystery. Oh, I've called for the through ball. I'm not going to get it. Gomez to me. Oh, and I've lost it again. I think we're going to get very, 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 very lucky here and make our way to the cup final. Giving that away. Messi's won it back. Farias to me. <laughs> what, mate? You're going to miss the target from there? Okay, sweet. Well, I could have had my goal. But I've fluffed it. Unbelievable, Jeff. I, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a more clear-cut, obvious opportunity. I was literally one-on-one -on, -one on the penalty spot and my guy's gone, I'm going to kick it wide. What'd you kick it wide for? I've won it back. Could play me in again. Barry ass. Can I have my goal this time? No, that was still bending away as well. I'm probably going to go wide. Well, I'll take this match rating because it's lower and we will take this game as the end result. I'll lose my previous goal but we'll gain a place in the US Open Cup final. So, swings and roundabouts. Luis Muriel on the attack, though. They could take it to extra time again if they score here. This time I do get my interception in. All right. Ref, please. Ref, please. Ref, please. Ref, please. Ref, please. Ref, please. Ref, please, Felipe. Yes! All right, fine. The game gave me a break. We take that break and we go through. I will remove my goal. I will not have the goal, but we will have the win by two goals to one. And I add, I don't know how many minutes. I've, Christ knows, 13. I've, I've, I've absolutely no idea. I wasn't paying too much attention. Oh, dearie me. Uh, I get a 7.9 as a rating for that. 0%, of course. Shot conversion percentage, but we are through to the final of the US Open Cup. Not how I envisaged it happening, but I was either going to get my goal or cup progression. In the end, I lose my goal, but we get cup, possess cup progression and we will play New England Revolution in the final of the US Open Cup. I apologize that it had to go down that way. I'll stay humble. I'm not going to take the credit or praise team spirit, but it, it is what it is. And what it is, is us in the cup final. Join me tomorrow for... Oh, we're top. It's reloaded. And where it's reloaded. 
Or did it? No, it, we, we might have been top anyway. I think it was the previous match day. We top. We were top anyway. Oh my lordy lord lord. Okay, um, that is us. Top of the Eastern Conference and in the cup final. Okay. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come and join me on stream to see all of the behind the scenes. Because, well, there was quite a lot there. I apologise, I didn't have any, um, any press conference questions in that one. I shall use the ones that I selected for this episode in tomorrow's. Which I shall go and record now.